、えー、皆さんこんにちは、えー、京都大学病院の小柳でございます本日はよろしくお願いします HBC 京都が、えーまあ、10年目を迎えるということで本日はまあ昨年に続いてですねこのような形で、えーえー、まあこれまでにピッチをいただいた方の中からハイライトをさせていただいてスタートアップの先輩たちにピッチをしていただくというセッションを作っております。まあ、本日はあのジョンソン・ジョンソン・イノベーションズの方からもゲストに来ていただきまして、まあ、過去10年間ですねずっと歩んできたこの道のりについても振り返りたいと思います。で非常に嬉しいことに、えー、今収録の前日なんですが、えー、内閣府の方からですね第7回日本オープンイノベーション大賞というのが発表になりましたでこの賞、えー、の中でですね経済産業大臣賞というのを、えー、HBC 京都が、えー、受賞することができたということで非常に、えー、嬉しいなというふうに思っております本当あの感謝の、えー、関係者の皆様に感謝を申し上げますというわけで、えー、まあこういうようなあの社会的にも認められるようになってきた活動ですがやはり最終的にはスタートアップが大きくなり最終的にはビッグカンパニーに買っていただけるようなライセンスアウトそして買収、まあ、こういうものが日本からどんどんどんどん出てくるということを目指してですねさらに強化していきたいというふうに考えております。えー、というわけでこれからセッションを始めたいと思います。よろししくお願いします。Hello, everyone. I'm Honoka Kiso, CEO of Trajan Biopharma, a Kyoto University startup developing a game changing antibody drug for tooth regeneration. The name Trajan comes from tooth regeneration medicine. So, if you had a toothache right now, what would you imagine? Since teeth do not naturally regrow after permanent teeth, don't you worry about losing tooth? While tooth loss is often caused by cavities or periodontal disease, some causes are congenital. Current treatments rely on artificial solutions like dentures and dental implants, but our goal is to help people keep their own natural teeth for life. This research Originated from Dr. Katsu Takahashi's team at Kyoto University. Dr. Takahashi and I are also dentists, oral surgeons, and researchers. Since 1998, Dr. Takahashi has explored whether tooth regeneration is possible by manufacturing a single molecule. Key breakthroughs include. The discovery of a mouse with extra teeth in 2007, and the identification of an antibody that promotes tooth growth in 2018. I joined the research in 2008 as a graduate student. USAG1 is a key protein for growing new teeth. And Dr. Takahashi's research showed it low in tooth regeneration. Mice without the USAG1 gene grow extra teeth. By blocking USAG1 with antibodies, tooth buds that usually disappear can grow into teeth. Studies showed that inhibiting USAG1 with antibodies allows tooth buds. Which would normally disappear to develop into new teeth. Our leading candidate, TRG035, is currently in development. USAG1 protein has 97% amino acid homology among mice, ferrets, dogs, monkeys, and humans. And although it is a mouse antibody, It was confirmed that administrating it to ferrets increased the number of teeth. The results of this research h a s been published in science advances, featured in newspapers worldwide, and is getting a lot of attention. Reports show that 
the number of teeth in mice and ferrets increase after they are administ administrated anti-USCG1 antibodies. Last October, we reported new results on congenital tooth loss models in mice and dogs. This study showed that administrating the antibody once after birth to a model dog with congenital tooth loss restored the number of teeth. Unlike existing treatments, Trigem's antibody therapy regenerates teeth themselves, not just replaces them with artificial structures. Since teeth are formed from the body's own tissue, the process takes several years for full development and eruption. Our initial focus is on congenital tooth loss with plans to expand to acquired tooth loss. It is, shown, uh, it is known that humans also process third tooth buds, which suggests that natural tooth regeneration is possible. Phase one clinical trials in Japan began in October 2024 and are progr progressing well. We are also preparing for clinical trials in the United States. The aim, in, uh, the aim is to launch the drug in 2030 as a treatment for hereditary congenital tooth loss. We are seeking global pharmaceutical companies and partners to explore the untapped, untapped potential of the dental fields blue ocean. So we will continue working towards a future where well, people are not afraid of missing teeth. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Kiso, for the uh, great you. presentation. And uh, we want to get into the Q&A session. Uh, so you presented at, uh, at HBC Kyoto in 2022, two years ago. Uh, I mean, the, well, uh, uh, it, it took uh, uh, two years since uh, then. And then uh, probably last year, you, uh, your work was highlighted by many newspapers too, and it had a lot of attention. So I want to ask you, how, how, how was the, uh, when you presented at HBC Kyoto, and then what was the progress in last two years? What did you have? So the big event is to start phase one clinical trial Mm -hmm. in Japan, so in Kyoto, uh, Kyoto University Hospitals. It mm -hmm. is very big event for us. I see. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, being back to those kind of items, uh, I want to highlight about uh, you are focusing on congenital tooth loss, and many people are expecting to have the more general tooth loss. Uh, what, what, uh, what do you think about the bridge from the congenital tooth loss uh, uh, therapy to the, to the other expansion, other indications? Other indications? Now we are look, now searching, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, okay. So uh, I also want to know the USAG1, so that is the um, for the pharmaceutical company, probably they, they are not focusing on the tooth loss or the, it's hard to pharmaceutical company to see the uh, drugable target in the, uh, the oral health issues. Is that easy to talk to pharmaceutical company about uh, this target and the oral health issues? So uh, oral health issue is very important, but so uh, pharmaceuticals have so interest in so difficult to interest in oral lesion. Mm. So okay, yeah, let's talk about that in uh, later uh, in the uh, <clears throat> panel discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have any question? Yeah. So first of all, congratulations uh, for the big progress in the last uh, two years. Uh, as now your program already get into clinical stage. So I have a question for the clinical dosage. 
So based on different uh, patients or subject situation, how can you make sure the doctor can adjust the appropriate dosage? It's uh, animal model, uh, like uh, mouse and dogs and monkeys. We, uh, we finished so these animals. So. Mm -hmm. We can discuss later. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for your great presentation and also for progress. So I have a question. So you started with the congenital tooth loss, but people are more interested in acquired, yes. Yes. Uh, con, con, uh, acquired tooth loss. So is there any uh, difference in approach if you go for con, congenital or acquired? Different target or same target? So any different? you know, aspect to aiming for acquired one. Thank you. Uh, it is, so for congenital tooth loss, the target is uh, permanent tooth buds, but congenital tooth loss is next third dentition tooth bud. Mm -hmm. But it is the same, we, we think uh, same drug can uh, suppress, suppress the mm -hmm. tooth buds, but uh, for congenital tooth loss, we administer in, in injection by uh, the, the uh, sub Q, sub Q injection. Yes, yes. But for congenital tooth uh, acquired tooth loss, we have to injection but local, mm -hmm. so in oral site. So so now we are uh, this deciding how to. Uh, approach to, um, uh, to injection to local. Okay. So now we... Thank you very much. So probably the approach for the delivery about uh, uh, systemic delivery and the topical injection, which may be uh, affect to the formulation of the drug itself. We we think so same, but but so for. Congenital tooth loss patients were uh, so children. So we uh, usually we when we treat for children, we can't so inject inject so lo local locally so move. So yes, yes. So so and uh, we want to so uh, suppress all two spots so they can you know, inject so from the DIV, but uh, for uh, acquired tooth loss, we have to, so side, side point is, uh, have to so decide. So, uh, so oh. yes, local injection have to. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. High. Okay, one last question. The phase one was happened for the healthy human or patient? It's a healthy human. Healthy volunteer. Yes, yes healthy see. volunteer. Okay. Thank you very much. You. Then, yeah, it's almost time. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your uh, Q and session and presentation. HBC Kyoto 2025 Startup Kiyo Kokorozasu Kenkyu Sha Boshu Chu. HBC Kyoto is a healthcare area of the startup to open innovation in the future of the partner. ベンチャーキャピタルが国内外から集まるイノベーションプラットフォームです一流のアドバイザーから海外市場を視野に入れた事業戦略事業プレゼンのアドバイスなどを受けることができ事業提携先や共同研究先出資先を検討しているパートナーとの個別商談を実施しており多くのマッチング実績があります詳しくは動画の概要欄のリンクからエントリーシートをご参照くださいエントリーは無料です創薬、バイオ、医療機器、デジタルヘルスなどヘルスケア領域のスタートアップの皆様研究成果を実用化したい企業志向の高い研究者の皆様のご応募をお待ちしております。